Welcome back to Milwaukee Real Estate Market Update. We're covering what happened in September 2022 and how it impacts your real estate decisions. I'm Ty Ash with Houseworks Collective and Compass, your local real estate expert. So if you're new to the channel or you're returning because you've seen some of our previous videos, it would mean the world to me if you could take a second and actually go subscribe to my channel. Also, hit that bell icon so you make sure you get notified when we post more content just like this. Let's dive into our current events and how that might impact us here locally in Milwaukee. So starting with our national housing numbers, according to Fred, just a really great data source out there, there are 732,000 homes available for sale versus 727,000 homes last month. So just a slight 1% increase uh, month over month. Let's compare that 732,000 homes currently available to 576,000 homes in September last year, or up 27%. For some historical context, yes, that's a big increase year over year, but we are still down right around 25% in inventory compared to February of 2022, right before you know the super hot market kicked off, even though we we're already in a pretty competitive landscape to begin in 2019 coming into 2022. Now, shifting over to how this relates to our Milwaukee real estate market, completely different story. So here in Milwaukee, active listings are actually down 24% to last year. That's actually pretty shocking when you think, you know, the rest of the nation here up 27%, but Milwaukee being down 24%, we haven't seen the pace of new listings keeping up with the rate of sale. So we're actually going to pull up uh, some Redfin data up on the screen, which is a really solid data source for local real estate market data. What you can actually see is you can filter down to your region. And in the chart that's showing here on the screen now, on the top, we have active listings in the Milwaukee, Wisconsin metro area. And you can kind of see some of the seasonality as the curves kind of dip and flow uh, depending on the time of year. We're looking at a 12 week time frame though. And what you can see in these black lines, we're at the lowest numbers inventory has been in the last three, you know, out of the last four years, dating all the way back to 2019. What's even more shocking as we go and we kind of relate it back to the stat I just shared of our new um, or active inventory being down 24%, our year over year growth, you can see this black line essentially just steadily declining over the last eight weeks or so and the actual percent change decrease worse than the last three years. So something that we like to keep a close eye on as real estate agents is to see what's going on with inventory that, that impacts our supply and, and is relative to the demand we have of buyers here in the market. Let's talk about inflation. This is from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Our U.S. Consumer Price Index climbed 8% in September versus a year ago. Biggest driver versus a year ago uh, continues to be energy at up 19%. But we're also seeing some increases in food prices and all other items, which includes items you purchase, services that you use every single day. So think the shopping and the shelter you have, whether that's renting or buying. Just some quick extra info on major categories, and we'll actually pull kind of the, the single click down into a lower level of each of these buckets. Food prices year over year changed uh, up 11%. Energy increased 19% versus last year. And then finally, those all items, less food and energy rose 7% versus a year ago. Some of the things that are continuing to see increases are actually in that shelter bucket, you know, actually seeing the cost of the living continue to increase. So obviously inflation is going to continue to have an impact on the housing market itself, knowing it's a real asset, there's scarcity out there. We'll see the price of real estate actually go up over time. If we continue to be in this inflationary environment, which we have been in for several months now, as the fed continues to try to slow that down, just one last national highlight that we always like to dive into. And that's the interest rates. So from the mortgage news daily app, our interest today as of October 13th, 2022, are sitting right around 7% for well-qualified buyers versus nearly 3% a year ago. Obviously, big change there. We'll pull up the Fred chart so you can actually see those interest rates very rapidly rising over the last 10 months or so. 
based on another consecutive month that inflation is still maintaining levels higher than 8%, the expectations are that the Fed is going to have one more, uh, at least one more uh, rate hike again, anywhere from 50 to 75 basis points. So nearly another percent increase. Typically, mortgage lenders are going to start baking in these assumptions into their rates proactively. So we might see that impact now that we just got this announcement here that inflation inflation still is not uh, going away. It's being very sticky. So keep in mind, though, mortgage interest rates are more closely related to the 10 year treasury return as opposed to the interest rate hikes that are being announced by the Fed. You can actually see these charts side by side on the screen right now of our average mortgage rates over the last 10 years versus the uh, Fed 10 year treasury return over the last 10 years. These are some of the most important headlines that we're always gonna be looking at. What is inventory looking like? Interest rates, as well as the inflation update. Those are all gonna impact our real estate decisions what other national headlines might you want more information on? I'd love it if you commented uh, down below and let me know, and I'd love to do a deeper dive and provide the stats that you need to make better decisions. Now, let's dive into our local market here in Milwaukee, obtained through the local MLS data. Starting with residential homes in the Milwaukee greater area. Sold listings, 1,600, 1600 homes, down 19% to last year. Active listings, 1,000 homes, down 24% to last year. Just a note here, this month we saw the sold to active percent change relationship flip. For the last two months in July and August, we saw that the number of sold listings was actually slow, a little bit behind the active inventory that we had. But here in September, we saw that switch where we actually have a 5% spread. This is an indicator that months of supply are actually going to start decreasing again, again, very different from the narrative that might be being told nationally. This is largely due to the new listings not keeping up with our rate of sales here in the great Milwaukee greater area. Specifically, in September, new listings were down 23%. We're still not replacing the inventory at a fast enough rate. In addition to this, last month's decrease in listings was down 20, 27% as well. So we've had some pretty big drops in new listing activity coming on the market. Some uh, saying that this is because interest rates are impacting the decision making of sellers not wanting to enter this market as a buyer themselves. Next up, months of supply, 1.8 months versus two months last year. Median days on market, 19 days flat to a year ago, indicating it's still the norm to receive an accepted offer in the first couple of weeks on your home. And then finally, all of these metrics pull them together. We are continuing to see our median sales price increase year over year, 310,000 up 11% to last year, which where we were sitting at 280,000. Values are still increasing but we do have headwinds, of course, with the rising interest rates and the affordability problem for our buyers. Next up, we've got our two family stats for Milwaukee County specifically. Sold listings, 147 properties, down 20% to last year. Active listings, 344, down 54% to last year. A pretty big spread here of you know sales being down, but that inventory number being half of what it was a year ago is definitely keeping competition strong in our investment space in the Milwaukee area. Months of supply, 1.8 months versus 4.2 months a year ago, nearly cut in half. You know, again, we're just we're seeing this rapid decrease of inventory in our market. Median days on market, 15 days versus 14 days a year ago, slightly faster than our uh, residential space here in Milwaukee. And median sales price, $215,000, up 17 or up 7% from a year ago when it was 201,000. So seeing the values of these investment properties increase due to the scarcity in the marketplace. Okay, so after going through all those stats, let's take a quick breather. 
We've gone through some national headlines, some local market stats for Milwaukee. If you like what I'm putting together here, please hit that like button, drop a comment below. I'd love for you to engage and let me know what other information points you might like, but definitely hit that like button, share it with a friend. I'd love for you to share this information that I think will be super impactful for some of your friends and family while they uh, potentially become a buyer or a seller in today's marketplace. So we have all this information now. What does it mean for our buyers and sellers? We're gonna start off with our buyers. So what does all this information mean for home buyers in the Milwaukee area? There's no doubt this is a very confusing time for home buyers. In times of uncertainty though, it's very easy to focus on the little things. For example, interest rates. Interest rates are definitely hurting the affordability and are expected to keep rising in the short term based on the information we just covered. Buyer demand and competition has cooled. We're seeing pre-approvals at down 37% to a year ago, but we're still at the same time seeing multiple offers on, on many properties out here in our marketplace. The best advice I can give based on the data that I evaluate every single month is if you're looking to buy a home, now is still likely the best time we're going to see in the near term for you to actually buy a home. And that's without me having a crystal ball. My reason for this advice is inventory. It's gonna to continue to be a challenge even as the buyer demand continues to come down because we're not replacing it with new listings coming on the market. Interest rates will definitely hurt this demand, but this is gonna be the best window you get to get a good price on your home. In terms of interest rates, usually we see in every two to three year time window, there's usually refinance opportunities where you can take this seven to seven and a half percent interest rate and hopefully refinance it at a lower cost. For our median price here in Milwaukee at 300,000, that could be hundreds of dollars off of your monthly payment that you get to capitalize on a refinance. And with all of this inflationary pressure that we have that's continuing to be very sticky, you could actually see the value of your home continue to increase, especially because inventory is still low. Stay tuned to the seller portion as well because you'll see why I believe the next four months is your window of opportunity. Now, moving on to our sellers, what should you be focused on here in our Milwaukee market? Tune out the national headlines and consult with your local real estate expert. I'm gonna sound like a broken record on this, but again, we see almost a 50% difference between the increase in inventory we're seeing nationally and the decrease that we're seeing here in the Milwaukee greater area. It's still very low and transactions are still closing very quickly. The best homes, well-marketed, good photography, and tying up any sort of loose ends that you have on your pre-inspection walkthrough are gonna help you get the best results and get multiple offers and still some pretty favorable terms now that we're still you know, sitting here in a seller's market. The stat that I always like to relate this to in terms of, hey, have I completely missed the boat as a seller is that percent of ask price where you close your transaction. So in September, we're at 99.6% down from 100.5% last year. This is actually kind of normal here in our Wisconsin market where we have that seasonality. We're approaching the holidays, seeing that little bit of a dip and seeing it correct isn't that big of a deal, especially when you compare it all the way back to 2015 or even 2020, we're still seeing this 99.6% be higher than what it was at that point in time of you list your home at a price and hopefully using comparable sales and you're getting what you ask for. And in most cases, still some pretty favorable terms from the buyers. Buyers, I told you to stick around. This is why I think you're in the best time is seasonally, you're gonna see that you could get anywhere from two to 4% better deal if you buy during these winter months between now and October and as we get all the way out into February. That's where you're gonna get a better deal, the best price point, maybe less competition because of the interest rates and other scared buyers jumping, jumping out of the market. Now's your time to hold strong and try to get that best deal and be looking forward to potentially getting an interest uh, refinance in the future. All right, so to wrap everything up here, if you found value in the information that I just covered for here in our Milwaukee area regarding the real estate market, subscribe, hit that bell, hit the like button. I really appreciate your guys' engagement to show me that I'm giving you the information that you need to make sound financial decisions. Thanks, we'll be back again next month with your Milwaukee real estate market update.